U.S. and Polish armed forces, as well as civilians, watch as the newly developed Polish equipment is loaded with U.S. vehicles at the railhead in Drasko Pomorski, Poland, on February 1, 2022. They use the RM70 mobile railway ramp to load track vehicles onto trains. For the very first time, actually, in the history, we are using uh, this kind of sets uh, to test the uh, possibility uh, to use uh, Polish uh, equipment with U.S. Uh, tracked vehicles. Uh, and it's going to answer the, the question if, if you can use it uh, for the uh, upcoming uh, exercise, uh, Defender Europe 22. The civilians also tested a new heavy equipment transporter built to carry track vehicles. They lined up an M1A2 Abrams, winched it and secured it in place before doing a road test. After the successful road test, everyone in attendance at this historic event inspected the equipment. All right, so the, uh, the other uh, the interesting part of this capability is that uh, this is Polish equipment uh, servicing U.S. forces equipment. And so this, uh, this demonstrates the ability of U.S. to work uh, very closely and, and, and achieve interoperability between our equipment set and, and their uh, national equipment sets, which increases our ability to deliver combat power um, across the theater of operations. This training highlights the interoperability between allies and our own armed forces' ability to adapt to new environments. For the 113th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment, I am Army Sergeant Eliezer Melendez, Drasko Pomorski, Poland.